Now, my mother is Russian Jewish. And at that time, if you may remember, is that De Valera had said that if Hitler invaded Ireland, he would not, he would give up the Jews. Yeah. And this was very hidden. We did not know we were Jewish. But my mother, obviously, felt that we could be under attack. So she put us into a school with the Dominicans, because she felt is that the Dominicans, who were not under the authority of the Pope, would protect us. So we went there. I don't think she ever paid the fees. <laughs> and, <coughs> and, and we were kind of like treated as kind of semi-refugees and semi-people who maybe the church could rope in. So if you want to know where my early influences of resistance, first of all, when I was four, I discovered the pleasures of masturbation. And I thought, this is such a glorious thing to happen. You're four. Yes. You're four. Yes. I, 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 sure I have to that. Surely the world should know. <laughs> Yeah. And so I decided then one day to go to school and I would begin this experiment. <laughs> now, the school was a, a progressive school in Dublin, which I don't know, oh. so many people will know of it. It was a very progressive school because we were living, we were always moving all over the place. So we were moving, uh, at that time, we lived in um, Greenfields, which was not far from the school. So I went along and decided to do my great experiment. Well, <laughs> the silence that occurred was absolutely, absolutely horrendous. So in those days, you were all meant to be sitting down, and then the teacher would call you, you come up in line. So they were all called up, and there I was there masturbating on my chair. <laughs> well, totally <laughs> silence, and I suddenly realized there's something wrong here. <laughs> so why can I pleasure myself at home, but not pleasure myself at school? So I realized things were really getting out of control when the teacher came to see my mother. And she knocked on the door. Now, nothing was said. My mother never said anything to me. But from then on, I began to understand the double standards of <laughs> human beings. <laughs> so you might say that the seeds of revolution were actually embedded there. Because why didn't she come and tell me? Yeah. She could have said, don't do that. Yeah. Instead, it was this whole sly way of coming along to my mother. Now, the other thing, which actually matters so much as we are moving into a secular society, that actually being brought up by the Dominicans, because the Dominicans were in an enclosed order. They had no contact with the outside world at all. So there we were in jail, you might say, which is the reason why I never mind to go into jail, because it was like me, the Dominican. And so all the way through the history of the Dominican order, well, first of all, they were not under control of the Pope. So that you might say that that kind of atmosphere, yeah. that actually by going outside the box, yes. was not a bad thing. And the other thing, of course, which I was accused of in the Dominicans was the most deadliest of all sins, and that's pride. So I decided to have a little revolution <laughs> inside the school. And that was, at the beginning it was, is that one girl was bullying us, and we decided then as we'd all gang together and we wouldn't, uh, and we would confront her. And then I thought, I think we should be bigger than that. Let's bring back the whole history of loving one another and sharing. So how old were you when this... I was about 11. Right, okay. So then I made a fatal, diplomatic, political mistake. I went to her and I told her what we were doing. That we had ganged up against her and now we wanted her to be part of it. She then went and told the nuns. So my punishment was I had to lie flat on the floor while everyone walked over me. So now, so you might think that was a very embarrassing thing, but not at all. I thought, this is, this is what it's all about, <laughs> that we suffer from martyrdom and sex. <laughs> <laughs>